hello guys what's up this is Junaid welcome to Xfinity so in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix After Effects not using GPU acceleration for rendering if your After Effects is unable to support your high-end dedicated or external GPU then you have come to the right place where I will solve your problem not to up to 100% but it will uh, make your fast make your rendering speed much faster in preview speed as much as uh, as fast as possible so you need to watch this video till the end so that you go through every step I am going to show you and uh, uh, make sure you save changes as I do so that you might uh, you may get the desired result so first of all let us dive into the After Effects 2020 once you are in your after effects you need to go to file and then go to project settings you can also uh, use shortcut which is Control alt shift k uh, in uh, in this project settings you need to make sure the use of video rendering and effects is selected as mercury gpu acceleration cuda if you have a high-end graphic card then you can go with this option if you do not have a high-end graphic card or you only have a dedicated GPU then you can uh, go for Mercury software only alright let me show you my graphic card it is NVIDIA GeForce GTA 1660 Ti so that's why I need to make sure this option is selected once this setting is done you need to close your After Effects completely and make sure go to your task manager and make sure after effect is after effects is not running yes it is closed so the next thing is uh, you need to go to your file directory how you can go to your file directory you can click on your after effects right click on your after effects and uh, select this option opal file location after that uh, go to search and uh, write ray tracer After that, you need to find this uh, text file ray tracer underscore supported underscore cards. All right, and uh, uh, after opening, you need to make sure the name of your graphic card is in this list. If uh, the name of your graphic card is not in this list, then you need to add it manually, and I will show you how you can add it manually. So, in order to find out the uh, graphic card GPU chip of your uh, computer you have installed you need to uh, I guess run the command which is hold your windows key and press R a run a run command will pop up so in this uh, open section in this search field you need to type DX DIAG all right and click on OK after that your uh, DirectX diagnostic tool will open you need to go to display and uh, you need to copy your chip type as you can see here I have GeForce GTA 1660 Ti let me show you you need to fill this, this uh, entries with the same name as you can see here chip type the name should be same as you can see in chip type all right g force make sure it is case sensitive gtx1660 capital t and small i after that if you are unable to make changes to your file i will also show you the way how you can replace your file you need to click on cross and click on save it will uh, 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 you know it will ask you where you need to save this text file if you save you need to replace it and it is you as you as you can see it is not giving me proper permission to make uh, changes to this file so what is the solution you need to click on dot save and you need to copy this folder alright paste it on the desktop 
open this uh, uh, pasted uh, text file write your name here save your changes click close and then copy this folder again and go to the same directory uh, file directory of after effects and uh, click on paste it will uh, you know show the pop-up that you want to replace this file yes uh, click on continue as you can see the files is replay uh, the text file is replaced and with my graphics card entry all right and you also need to make sure it is uh, in the order as you can see GeForce is in the order let me fix that make sure any blank spaces is not just beneath the file so this is my graphic cards name I will save this and uh, I will copy this I will go to the file after effects file directly I will paste it here click on continue and let's open this and as you can see I have uh, successfully added the entry of my graphic card into the ray tracer supported cards all right so that's it this is the perfect solution that can increase the rendering speed of your uh, after effects all right so I have also make a video uh, made a video on how to make your after effects faster you need to check this video out too and make sure to like subscribe and share this video thank you so much